And now with Alexander, well, how wow. deep is that? Oh my goodness. The littlest guy on the floor elevates. What a play. Brazil to tie it. Yes! What a game. There's at least that many in here right now. It'll be the Razorbacks in white and the Blue Jays in blue. Up note, Ryan Kalkman of the outstanding center for Creighton, who rolled his left angle, not ankle, not once, but twice in yesterday's game, is out there and in the starting lineup for the Blue Jays. Paul Sells, Lee Cassell, and Randy Richardson getting us underway with the opening tip, and it belongs to... Black, 26 points, six assists in yesterday's game. Follows up his miss. But Baylor Shireman down with the rebound for the Blue Jays. One of the best rebounders in the country. He led the Summit League in rebounding last year with South Dakota State. He had a dozen in their win yesterday. Nemhard from the corner. And Creighton strikes first. Boy, what a smart play by Ryan Nemhard. Did a little Nash dribble into the basket, passed out, and then ran directly to the corner for that open three. Black. And finds a wide open Makai Mitchell underneath. Anthony Black is special. I mean, it's six assists against Louisville. Could have had more. But he He's going, but he missed the running layup. And it caroms off a couple of legs to Kaluma. Now that shows what a, a good shot changer Ryan Kalkbrenner is. He just walls up and makes you shoot over him. Alexander with a soft touch on a fadeaway baseline jumper. Alexander has before. <laughs> From the rough streets of where is it again? Rolling Hills, Rolling Hills California. California. That's right. It even sounds right. Nemhard slips. Numbers for Arkansas. Black will finish. And finish through contact. I mean, he got fouled and still was able to finish that play. What a terrific play by Anthony Black. See, they're trying to keep Arkansas is trying to keep Creighton to a side. You let him get to the other side, they are so dangerous. Kalkbrenner down with a rebound off the Nemhard miss. And the corner three for Nemhard is second of the game. Well, he's got great feet. Just finds that three-point line, backpedaling after the Kalkbrenner miss. Blue Jays by four early. Devo Davis, the lefty, up and good. Maui Jim Maui invitation. Tried to get an initial post for Kaluma. Shireman. And one. He's got a chance for a four-point play. Shireman was the cutter off. Shot fake was important. A little shot fake, one dribble. And then Council fouled him on the shot trying to recover. Caught him on the arm. And Shireman able to go to the line to complete a four-point play. Summit League Player of the Year at Shireman, and boy, what a perfect fit he has been for this Blue Jay program. Well, he knows how to play, and he can really shoot it. How about the elevation? Shireman is such a good rebounder. He just has a, a sense for where the ball's coming off and always goes to the glass. 6'6 six, six wing who does a lot of different things, helps you a lot of different ways. Look at that. What a beautiful feed from Shireman into Kalkbrenner. And do you think those shot fakes have been effective because Arkansas has got a lot of young players on their team? And, you know, maybe they're, they're, you know, their pulse is racing a little bit quicker right now. You can see Debo Davis trying to keep Ryan Nemhard on the right side of the floor. But Brazil's got to get up higher than that. You can't be in drop coverage. you got to be up. more as a facilitator than a scorer. Not that he can't score, mind you. He had 16 yesterday, and he's already got three threes in this game. Walsh! Wow. What an effort by him, but it won't go down. It stays with the Hogs, though. Now your point on Nemhard. More effective generally when he puts it on the floor. Shireman. Good pass. Miller. Did not travel. This is the freshman Frederick King rejected by Trevin Brazil, and it's saved by Black. Man, there are some plays being made. And Black goads Nemhard into a foul, and that'll Great be shot fake. This is athleticism. Going up top. And then Anthony Black keeping that thing alive. That's a big time play. This game at the depth that Creighton has. They can sub and they don't really take 
a big step down. Turn around, fade away there for Shireman. I think he's an NBA player. And Baylor Shireman can absolutely play. Got a great feel for the game. Strong drive by Black and a foul called. And when you can get downhill from up at the top, I mean, that's a great take. Getting past Sharif Mitchell, who's a terrific defender. And then. And Black makes them both. Sharif Mitchell now at the point, the redshirt junior from Omaha, Nebraska. Very tough player, good defender. Spelling Nemhart a little bit. Turned over, though. Black is in the middle of everything right now for Arkansas. Arkansas did this to Louisville yesterday. It's going to be harder to do it to Creighton. But scoring points off its defense. Mitchell, a nice swing to Miller, but a good close out there by Walsh. And Miller's going to have to be strong with the ball. He absorbed a huge bump there. Anthony Black is really good defensively. Long arms and active hands, and Walsh able to knock it away with that little pass, and Black takes it the other way and finishes. And that's exactly what Arkansas needs to do. Be disruptive, get deflections, and then turn defense into... Maluma wants a ball screen, goes the other way. Shireman free behind Paul Krenner for three. That's great action. It'll be a little little screen, and then he gets a screen from Kalkbrenner, just fades right to the wing and ready to shoot when the ball arrives. He is a, it's hard to imagine a transfer fitting in more seamlessly to a team that Baylor Shireman has fit into this Creighton team. Yeah, we asked Greg McDermott that a couple of days ago, and he said even better than expected because of how much he shares the ball. They're still able to bother that shot. So far, Arkansas has turned Creighton into more of a dribble team than a passing team. Alexander over the top for Kalkbrenner. Pretty. So good at setting a screen. There's some contact between Mitchell and Davis. And the pull-up will go for Council. They need offense out of Council, and they need offense out of Brazil when he's in there as well. Well, as soon as Council saw Farabello on him, he knew he had a size advantage, just pulled up and shot right over him. He is their leading scorer on the season, almost 18 a game. Mitchell with a drive. Oh, what a closeout by Council. Parabello forced to put it on the deck, has to give it up. Shot clocks at two. Blocked by Brazil. Elite length and athleticism for Trevin Brazil, and it's Arkansas ball. Alexander, he hands it off to Walsh. Council driving over Parabello off the glass and good. That was a council. Isolated against Farabello and take him one on one. Council's got their last six points. Nemhard finds Alexander seven on the shot clock. Hard to find passing lanes with this length. And a turnover committed by Creighton, their seventh of the game. Brazil steps into a three. And Arkansas still doesn't have a made three in this game. They'll try another one. This time Davis. That play will work. The follow for Black. Uncontested. He's got a dozen. Boy, how about that play by Black? He makes the pass around the top of the key. And then gets all the way to the rim. Not worried about defensive balance. Boy, the patience in traffic for Ryan Kalkbrenner. See if they can pick up his third before half. Walsh driving. Kaluma cuts him off and takes it away. Numbers. What a pass. Shireman into Kalkbrenner. Kalkbrenner puts so much pressure on your transition defense because he runs right to the rim. Turn around, Devo Davis. Just too tough of a shot. 
Creighton just does a great job of recovering to get back in front. Alexander with a jump stop and a finish, and the lead grows to eight. Now Creighton gets a ton of credit, and rightfully so, for its outstanding offensive play. But this is a very good defensive team with a lot of defensive versatility and excellent individual defenders. High arcing jumper and a much needed bucket for Council in the Razorbacks. Emhart changing gears again as he brings it up the floor. Finds Shireman. Their sixth made. To put some more pressure on the rim. Nemhart has had a really good first half. Misses the left-handed layup attempt there, and back comes Black. A little ball screen by Hoffbrenner, and then a back screen from Shireman. And that allowed Nemhart to get all the way to the rim. Great play. Anthony Black to Mikel Mitchell. Well, if you're a big guy for Arkansas, be ready at all times. You never know when it might be coming your way. Well, you have to expect it to come your way, but Anthony Black's got a great ability to blow by. Nemhard uses a screen to get three minutes to Eric Musselman. Yeah, 12 points, six rebounds, and a couple of blocks in 20 minutes. Alexander, nice English off the glass. Yeah, what a hack at the closeout. Black into Mitchell, knocked away. Black gets it back. Black's going to have to turn that corner and shoot the ball. Wow, a tough driving layup on the baseline. He's got everything. Yeah, he does. What a cut, but Shireman can't finish it. Took some contact, just couldn't finish the play. Great cut from the right baseline. Council from the elbow. Mitchell, what a rebound. Just went right over the top with that long left arm. Took it right away from Shireman. Catch by Cochran. Can he get an angle for the rim? And it's Arkansas ball. Clock in the shot clock here late in the first half. Arkansas ball. The slot ball screen. If Black can turn the corner, I think he's got to take that little pull up jumper or floater. It's into the lane. Oh! in America could have caught that and finished that. Trevin Brazil's on a short list of those who can. And an air ball at the other end. Was there a trampoline on the floor <laughs> just <laughs> left? Semifinal a little bit later on. San Diego State and Arizona still to come here from Maui. Shireman with a nice look to Paluma who was had some foul trouble in the first half. Didn't play all that much and he gets on the board. Right away. Hand off and then the throwback, and Kaluma was attacking. The three rattles out on Ricky Council, the fourth. Walsh steps into one, and finally, the first made three of the game for Arkansas. It's not like he just blows by, but he's got tremendous quickness. But Anthony Black is much stronger than he looks. And he comes up with it again and lays it up, follows it, and tips it in. Well, he got fouled, but then still was able to go up with that second jump. Well, this second jump really impressive. Able to accept that bump from Alexander, then goes. Black with 16 points, five rebounds, and four assists already in this game. Council. Yes. Well, he is a really good pull up jump. I think you'll see more of that in the second half. Eric Musselman finding a matchup he likes and going after it. Into double figures now with 10. Alexander working hard and a chance for a three-point play. That's not a bad shot, but it's a shot you can get just about any time. Nemhard tried to go 94 feet, couldn't convert. Numbers. Oh, council! What a pass.
And the fifth assist of the game for Black was a spectacular one. When Nemark took it all the way to the basket, that really affected the defensive balance of Creighton. Nobody got back, and Arkansas took advantage of it. But that was a fantastic pass from Anthony Black. Baluma turns it over. Again, a lot of dribbling. Yeah, too much dribbling. I mean, his dribble-to-pass ratio is easily 10 to 1. And that's led to the turnovers. And Council from outside gives Arkansas the lead. Their first lead of the game. And it is deafening here inside the Civic Center. Kalkbrenner is fouled by Brazil on the alley-oop attempt. Gave him an advantage situation, a fantastic threading of the needle in transition off the deck. And Ricky Council, the transfer from Wichita State, the sixth man of the year in the American Conference, above the rim. Kalkbrenner already. Walsh up top, and another finish for Brazil. All set Brayton in five of them already in the first five and change here in the second half. Council to Brazil inside, fouled, and finishes. A little surprised to see Paul. It's just a, a quick dive to the basket by Brazil. And the trail Alexander just a little bit late getting there and got just bumped him as a result of it, but just a terrific job by Brazil to take that getting into the paint. But you can still drive those gaps, especially with a shot fake. Council trying to shoot him. Spectacular. Well, we are seeing some big time plays in this game, and we got a ways to go. How about that spin move by Black? He's got 18. Caramello free in the corner. The first bench points of the game. Drilled it. I think you're going to see Arkansas go to Anthony Black, let him go one on one. Walk. Brazil turns it over. For Arkansas. Boy, a good stand there by Kalkbrenner. Council working incredibly hard, though, and somehow flips it 12 in the second half in a game high 20 in the game. Davis hounding Shireman in the corner. He's got size. Gets the shot off and hits. That was an NBA play. He knew he had Davis on him. He could shoot over him. He just backed him. Council's got Farabello on him. They might want to go to Ricky Council. Let him take him. Black. Up and good. 20 now for Anthony. An outstanding passer. Shireman off the screen. Now creates a little space. Step back jumper is good. The last year... Baylor Shireman was the only player Baylor Shireman does such a good job a little step back the lefty gets that to go and then the little stop and go move by Anthony Black but just there are too many hands up kind of asking why and you just got to play Jay the game's been, in, been within two points one way or another for six minutes and Shireman a little bit too much there. Still not playing because of the knee situation. He warms up uh, before the games. He does some things in practice, but still hasn't gotten into the game yet for the Razorbacks as Nemhard and Kalkbrenner connect again. Boy, Nemhard just changes speed so well. And Kalkbrenner caught that ball, kept it high. Nemhard now has 33 assists to just five turnovers on the season as Brazil knocks down a three. And that is the way they'll line up. Another rejection for Kalkbrenner. The Big East Defensive Player of the Year a year ago. Kaluma. A beautiful... Brazil. Jump stop. Won't go. Good job by Shireman to get there. And now with Alexander. Well, how wow. deep is that? Oh, my goodness. Deep, deep range for Baylor Shireman. That was from Molokai. He and Anthony Black have combined for 44 of Arkansas' 66. Hulk Brenner, remember Brazil guarding him as four. About this, 36 for his last 41. 
Nemhart ball on a string, but Black got a piece of it. Anthony Black is so long. Walsh, nice look. Davis. It settles in for him. A big shot for the Hogs to bring him back within three. Quick as Ryan Nemhart to the ball. Shireman leaves this one short. Bodies are flying, and it's Arkansas ball. Davis to the trailer, Black, and he'll have a chance to tie it at the line. That put Shireman, get him isolated. Kaluma, long reach, good touch. Creighton. On the other side, Council, Davis, and Walsh. Anthony Black as well with a ton of minutes. Brazil, the follow and the finish. Trying to put Hulkrunner into some ball screen action. And Brazil able to just dive when Shireman comes over. Anthony Black was wide open in the corner. Boy, Hulkrunner's got amazing patience underneath the bucket to see where the traffic is and wait. Brazil trying to pull Hulkrunner away from the bucket. He does, and he buries the three. Boy, Brazil. Backdoor cut, Shireman runs down the pass. And still lots of time. Nemhard. Whoa! The littlest guy on the floor elevates. What a play. Brazil to tie it. Yes! What a game. And a caught Renner. Who's got it? Paluma. Up and in on the third attempt. Got him with the left hand. What great second is bigger. They can take him down into the post. Tough catch in traffic. And a reverse slam for Kochbrenner. Well, he just discarded Mitchell. Just put him on the deck. And what a great catch and finish on the other side. And it's a two-point lead for the Blue Jays with a minute to go. Got a switch. Mitchell with a smaller defender. Alexander on. What a pass. Davis for what would have given them the lead. Alexander wraps it up. Still plenty of time for Arkansas. They don't need to foul here. Just down two points. Black fouls. Musselman beside him. Lead. Well, you got to admire this Arkansas team. And this is without Nick Smith Jr. Black driving. And Shireman is called for the foul. non -shoot. And he missed them both. And it's a one-possession game. Davis lost it, got it back, put it up, and draws the foul, and will go to the line for two. Clutch. Made them both. Clutch. And a timeout. And Davis will foul Shireman to see. throws and a three-point lead with 16 seconds to go. Black's going to drive it, kick it, counsel. No. Nemhard has it, and they'll foul him. Arkansas got this Arkansas team. Four-point lead. Black trying to draw the contact. Hits the shot. One-point game. And another foul with 2.3 seconds to go. I thought he got fouled on the shot. He might have gotten ticked a little bit. No, uh, not much. He tried to lean in and create the contact, but you, then he, the more impressive part is he hit the shot. Yeah, it looked like he grazed his, uh, his elbow just grazed the, the, if this goes in, you can expect Arkansas to call a timeout. 
It does. And it looked like it was Greg McDermott. And Davis can run the baseline here. To Black. 50 footer. And Creighton wins an unbelievable basketball game here in Lahaina. It's hard to imagine more of a high level contest than this. Just a spectacular basketball game by two teams that are capable.